What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. More specifically in respect to Sydney Prescott and why she shouldn't return in Scream 7. We're just going to look at this through that lens today. This is not a video related to hating Sydney Prescott or believing it's impossible for a compelling and justified return to be written up. If you think I hate Sydney Prescott after this, then your ears are likely clogged and I cannot help you with that. But a good wash should do the trick. Sydney Prescott, as we all know, was created by Kevin Williamson. And we all know that on the happy horror time podcast maybe a few of you know that he made it clear he wanted sydney to have that happy ending during his scream 4 trilogy she was supposed to during his scream 6 go through like some story where maybe the fiance she's getting married to is the new ghost face killer that's striking and she's having to doubt is this man just like the others is she making those same mistakes i'm trying to remember what williamson was stating but in the end he wanted her to have a happy ending which is understandable seeing as how Sydney's first send-off was not pinned by Williamson it was by Aaron Kruger who did a great job with Sydney in Scream 3 to wrap up her story and I do specifically mean the Sydney material because that was the strongest aspect of the Scream 3 script to me Ness performance just made it even better so with Williamson wanting Sydney to have that happy ending why does Sydney need to save Scream 7 Saving Scream 7 isn't something Sydney needs to do. It's something people merely want her to do. What Scream 7 needs to do, if it wants to use Sydney Prescott again, is whip up a good reason for this woman to be put through the ringer for the upteenth time. And I do mean narratively, not the selfish reasons by fans like myself who cite it's her franchise. She's the main girl. And well, Sam's gone, so just bring Sydney back. Yes, she has appeared in more movies than Sam as the focus is so objectively from that lens it is her franchise yes but that does not mean she needs to return reasons for why she needs to return should be connected to what story would you like to see told with Sydney Prescott now she was not in Scream 1 through 5 just because it's her franchise alone she was in them because there were stories to be told and each one justified her appearance in one way or another we all know her story and how heavily her mother plays a major influence on on the original three movies with marine being the main contender behind why sydney was tormented during that original trilogy shutting the door on marine has created this well where do we go from here sort of outlook for sydney's story but that's or but what's often neglected is that the door closing on marine was intentional since it was also allowing sydney's door to close as well a door you could argue should be left shut because she has earned this piece she has everything her mother couldn't have. Maureen let her trauma get the best of her. Sydney did not. She has yet to don the ghost face costume, and I doubt she ever will. I doubt Nev would ever be down for something like that. Maureen neglected one child thanks to said trauma. Sydney has a few children, and as far as we know, they have a relationship that Roman and Sydney deserved but never got. Maureen wasn't loyal to her husband thanks to said trauma. Sydney, as far as we know, is very loyal to Mark and her duties as a wife. There's so much of Maureen's life that was negative, that was like Sydney seen a reflection of herself. And she at one point did say, what if she ends up just like her mother? I think she brought this up with Billy during their uh, encounter in the bedroom at Stu's house. But what Sydney has done, she spun most of those major unfortunate truths about her mom into life lessons for herself so that she can stay out of darkness, just as her book was titled. Nev's already made it known she's open to returning, and I doubt she'll return for a lackluster story for Sydney. Sydney as a character has a shelf life that I believe too many people want to ignore for their own reasons, which again, they're entitled to. Then there's a comparison to Jamie Lee Curtis, who has been in multiple Halloween movies. So if Jamie can do it, why can't Nev do it? Well, very different context for both women. Laurie Strode, who again is played by Jamie Lee Curtis, didn't get a proper send off until 2022 with Halloween Ends. Despite what you think about Halloween Ends in totality as it pertains to the send off of Laurie Strode, I think most of us agree that's better than what we got for Halloween Resurrection. Before that, Laurie was killed off two times, one was off screen even. Sydney Prescott, though, has two solid closed chapters to her story Scream 3 and Scream 5. 
what would she need a third one for? So I can watch her in scenarios that wouldn't really be terrifying or suspenseful since I know you aren't going to kill her unless you push the envelope a little bit and do something severely threatening to her, or severely damaging to her. Like maybe she loses a limb or something like that. But I'm just thinking about how sequences with Sydney Prescott probably to a lot of people are lacking suspense and tension because they don't even trust that you're actually gonna do anything to the character. So they're not concerned about her safety whatsoever. So then you're just watching someone run from a threatening figure in Ghostface, but you're not taking the threat seriously because look who they're chasing. They're chasing Sydney Prescott, the person who has unlimited plot armor for days. Now, the character itself just means a lot to me. Sydney Prescott, that being. And I'm not interested in having to trash the first dud appearance of Sydney Prescott in a screen film if Seven ends up bringing her in solely for PR purposes alone and for Spyglass to say, hey, we got Sydney back. Do you forgive us? And then everyone goes, yeah, we forgive you. Then you watch Scream 7 and it's clear no care went into the story for Sydney. She was purely used to quote unquote save Scream 7. And that's all. This woman, this character does not need to save anything. She needs to be respected, used correctly, or you create a new final girl or final boy like you did with Sam Carpenter. Maureen's absence just leaves Sydney without that overarching issue because the OG trio's overarching story is the death of her mother. And that's been wrapped up for over 20 years. Screen 4 and Screen 5, yes, there are some references to, to Maureen. I think more so in Screen 4 than 5. But without her mother and trying to solve, okay, well, what else happened with Maureen? Who else is upset at Maureen? With that all being wrapped up, Sydney's kind of just out there in the ether, and we're all looking for reasons as to why Ghostface should come after her again. And I think that is the key as to why she shouldn't even probably be back. Because there was a story specifically being told, and that's not to say you can't tell new ones, but there was a specific story being told, and it was a story intended to end and close the door on that character. Why this is being neglected, I don't know. I know a lot of people listening to this do understand that there is a story being told and that it has been completed and you're just open to seeing new ones. But there's also a handful of people who just think of Sydney Prescott and think, oh, she needs to come back because she's Sydney Prescott and that's all there is to it. It doesn't matter what the story is. I argue differently. It does matter because she has yet to have a complete dud appearance. And if she has one in Scream 7, I know who I'm going to point the finger at. <laughs> Then you also have to consider that Nev Campbell herself has also come out and commented on how a lot of people see Sidney Prescott as a symbol of hope and hope and that symbolism, I feel like dies down the more Ghostface keeps coming after that character. What I mean is for some people who might have been through something very traumatic in their own life and they got to witness Sidney Prescott's own traumatic experiences related to her mother and seeing her overcome it all at the end of Scream 3, watching Scream 4 and watching Scream 5, that might kind of diminish what you symbolize. That's not to dismiss that Scream 4 and Scream 5 give justifiable and compelling outings for the character just like the first three movies did, because they do. However, doing it again in 7, eight, nine, 10, however long this franchise keeps going, bringing her back over and over and over again, your little hopeful symbol, it's gonna go out the window. Because somebody who looks at a symbol of hope in terms of, yes, one day I will have peace, constantly seeing you go through chaos isn't gonna make them feel like you are the appropriate symbol of hope to look up to. So I think that we need to shut the door on Sydney Prescott and preserve that symbol of hope that she does have. And I'm more interested in just seeing Sydney Prescott live her best life, have a happy life, and ride off into the sunset. I'm not morally, mostly interested in seeing her get thrashed around, cut up, and put through hell with Ghostface indefinitely. I'm not interested in that. If you can give me a compelling story to tell for Scream 7, that's fine. You can do it. But after that, I'm done. I'm really done. I'll still watch the movies if she's back, but it's just going to be to a point where it's like, why are you still bringing this character back? Why? And then especially, here's the other thing. What if the movie flops, just like Scream 4 flopped? Granted, the argument that I can get behind is that they didn't market that film very well. But Scream 6 already proved we don't need to have Nev Campbell back at Sidney Prescott. If you can market your film well and rely on the other very notable name that people, for some reason, often neglect too, Ghostface itself is a very big selling point of the franchise, not just the characters. 
those are a big selling point maybe for you but Ghostface and that costume is very iconic and very much so a part of why Scream can remain profitable as an IP if you rely on that costume to keep the narrative or to keep the IP alive and profitable for the indefinite future if you want to do stories beyond Sydney Prescott. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.